I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Just is a Mess here. I'm Just My Entire Life is a Mess, and today I'm here to bring you my November and October Birchbox unboxing. So I have never gotten Birchbox before, except for in October. And um, I filmed that unboxing and then I was gonna put it up, but uh, I do this thing where if I have something like a video, like a tutorial that I wanna put up, I can't put anything else up until that tutorial is up. But that tutorial didn't get finished. So I had my October Birchbox unboxing all edited and ready to go, but I never put it up in October because I'm an idiot, basically. So that's gonna be at the end of this video after I unbox my November birch box. Um, but October was really cool, so I do suggest you stick around to watch it. Um, but I just don't wanna make a separate video for it because like, <laughs> it's the middle of November. So let's just go ahead and get into the November birch box. If you don't know, birch box is, oh, if you don't know, I pay for this every month and I'm not being sponsored. But uh, also if you don't know, birch box is like a little monthly subscription thing where you get a little like, um, I think four to five, five to six, four to six, I don't know, samples in your box every month. Oh, what kind of samples? Makeup samples. This is going off to a fabulous start. First of all, the box this month is so pretty. Last month's October, which you'll see at the end of this video, not very pretty, uh, very bland and not great. But this is so cute and the design, which I did not notice before, but the design, uh, you have like these leaves and like acorns and stuff and vines. You also have little freaking mascara wands that totally blend in as being like plants. Anyway, I haven't opened the box yet. I've just been able to look off the outside. So now we're gonna look on the inside. The finishing touch is apparently this month's theme. So everyone, you get a little card that tells you what you got in your box. Cool. It's helpful. It is. It's cool. This is everything we got in the box this month. So first thing I got, this is just, it was the most bright and colorful, so I picked it out. What is this? Wait, what the fuck? This says, this is a dry conditioner. Okay, listen. Dry shampoo, I'm all about, but I have never heard of dry conditioner. What? That's so cool. So apparently you just put it in your hair at the ends. Um, that's actually really great for me because I have a lot of, um, my hair used to be dyed. I don't even know if you can see the blue that's still slightly there. Um, it used to be bleached and dyed. So this actually might be helpful for my tips. I just really don't notice much of a difference except my hair looks almost drier that's possible. Next up, this little card thingy is speaking to me. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like a little um, perfume sample. Okay, this is a hair oil. That's cool, let's see what the card says. Bumble and Bumble, hairdressers, invisible oil. Full size is $40, yikes. This best-selling blend of six nourishing oils smooths, strengthens, defrizzes, and boosts shine. Use as a finisher after styling to control flyaways and add polish. Okay, that's interesting. It's a very, very small sample, so the lid came off. Oh, it doesn't have much of a smell, but what's that? Ooh, that smells really good. I am very interested to try that because I don't use hair oils. I rarely use anything on my hair other than dry shampoo and, you know, normal shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna try out the hair oil that I got from the boxing, unboxing that you're watching right now. So it said a little goes a long way. It said this oil is good for curly hair and it says that it should help with frizz, uh, shininess, and detangling a little bit. So we'll see how well that works. On Sephora.com I looked up the item so that's where I'm getting this information from. why they say a little goes a long way because this is a very thick uh, consistency. I don't know, I think it just made some of the little curls that I have very curly. However, it's made it slightly less frizzy, uh, especially at the top here. You can definitely see a difference. I think I look a little more put together than I did before. You can judge, I guess. Oh, you can also use this if your hair is damp, like right out of the shower and put it on and then let it air dry and I think it might intensify your curls. What else we got? 
This is the Dr. Jart's Sermadin. God, I can't read. How long has it been since I've read a book? Too fucking long. After cleaning, rub a nickel sized amount on the skin. So this is just a face cream. That's really cool. Or I guess it didn't say you had to use it on your face, but it's just a normal cream. Going into the winter months, this will be helpful because I usually don't use a lot of lotion because I have very oily skin. Um, so that's nice. Next up, oh, oh, I have been wanting to try this. This is the Milk Makeup Mascara, and it looks like it's in like this little weird squeezy tube type of thing, but it's a mascara, right? How weird is that? Um, so I've never tried this. I think I've heard good things. It's a very strange wand. I'll show a clip of me trying this on later, and uh, you can see for yourselves how well it works. It's not very um, volumizing, I would say, but it is very lengthening, and it really is a nice dark color. The only thing is that um, the way that this wand is shaped, it's kind of scary to like put it near my eye. Um, so that's the only thing I kind of get a little mini like heart attack whenever I get it near my eye. But other than that, I mean, it looks really good. And the last thing in here is this little blush and bronzer palette. Um, oh, from, from Coastal Scents. Do you know how cheap of a brand Coastal Scents is? I mean, it's cool. I have an eyeshadow palette from Coastal Scents and like, it's nice. But it's cheap. <laughs> I don't know how to open it. I don't know how to open it. It's not happening. These favorites from Blush and Bronzer. Oh, this is from the Blush and Bronzer palette, but I think it's supposed to be a highlighter and a blush from the Blush and Bronzer palette. Okay. It's very powdery, uh, to be expected from Coastal Scents, and the pigment is definitely there, but that that's that's the case with most cheap things they usually have more pigmented and less blendability so i don't know i mean that seemed to have blended fine it's got a nice little like gold um finish it's like pink with a gold finish eh, i'm up in the air about this one <laughs> but i'm skinny it because it was up in the air it's no longer up in the air it's on the ground now <laughs> except for that little highlight and like blush duo um i actually really like everything else so i got two hair products and a moisturizer and then the mascara so not a lot of makeup. I feel like that's a usual thing that you see with Birchbox. Um, but I like that. I actually really do like trying a bunch of different skincare and hair care stuff because that's not something that I would normally go for. So that's why I like Birchbox, but to each their own. Okay, that's it for my November Birchbox. Now it's time to go on to my October one from last month if you guys want to see all the products that I got in there. Overall, I'm still really cool with Birchbox and I'm gonna keep buying subscriptions for a while. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, um, I will see you again in my December Birchbox and right now in my October one. Okay, bye. Hey guys, just is a mess here. I'm just, my entire life is a mess. And today I'm going to be doing a Birchbox unboxing. This is the first one I've ever gotten. It came with this little PB&J smoothie stick that you you could like add on for free so I thought hey why would I say no to a free lipstick like <laughs> who would do that it is the month of October happy Halloween that's why my little jack-o-lantern is back there so let's just go ahead and get into this ah. why is there a box within a box this box was in a bag um having some technical difficulties that's just not happening one just just one moment okay it's almost there Finally. Oh my goodness. This, it's much smaller than I expected. I feel like when you watch things uh, on YouTube about people like reviewing products, the products always look so much bigger than they actually are. But just for comparison, here's the actual size of the box. Before we get started into that, let's go ahead and try out this little PB&J stick that came with the Birch Box. Um, was an add-on this month. what that looks like not matte but it's not really uh, shimmery either so that's cool that was a cool little uh, bonus thing that you could get with your brush box this month so let's just pop open the box and see what's inside oh my god it's like blues clues present time present time <laughs> open the box and see what's inside anyone remember that was that totally just me was I just the only blues clues obsessed child anyway ooh, here's what's in our box Beautiful. <laughs> this is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. That's pretty cool. I guess it's just a normal like exfoliating cleanser. The full size of this exfoliant is worth $79. <laughs> 
must be some good shit. Dr. Brandt is pretty well known for being a good brand, um, a very popular brand from Sephora, I think. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I am excited to start using this. In fact, let me put it in my little goodie bag back here. <laughs> Next up, we have Super Hydrating Eye Cream. Wow, that is small. But it's an eye cream. Usually things like eye creams come in very small packages for like a large amount of money for some reason. I've never understood it. But um, this is Air Repair and it says Super Hydrating Eye Cream, Ultra Soothing Antioxidant Eye Care Formula. That's awesome. I have been looking to try some new eye creams. This eye cream, full size, is worth $23. I mean, it's a pretty good sample for an eye cream, I gotta say. So that's good. Into the goodie basket it goes. I have two mascaras. <laughs> um, is that? I mean, I feel like I've never seen a birch box where they give you two of like the same type of product. Okay, well, that's odd, but this is the Mali Volumizing Mascara, and this is the Perscriptives <laughs> False Eyelashes Plush, Plush Mascara? What does that mean? Okay, so two different mascaras. I guess the good thing about that is that I can try them side by side, and then you can see how they look compared to each other. Anyway, so I will put in a clip of me trying those on side by side, and we'll see how those look. I'm not a huge fan of these massive wands, so I don't think I'm gonna like this one very much. But we'll see. It's a very natural look. Um, I don't love the wand. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to stab it right into my eye. But it's very pretty. They were both really good at separation and lengthening, but I don't think either of them are very volumizing. I definitely like the wand better on the Mali side because I wasn't really scared of hitting my eye. It was much smaller than this one, which is very massive. But the full size of this is worth $20, and then the full size of the prescriptives is worth $23. Also, let's put these mascaras bag. And the last thing in here is this Orbe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. But the full size of this is worth $44 for a dry shampoo. That's a little crazy. That's a little crazy to me. Uh, one of my favorite dry shampoos uh, from the drugstore or, you know, Target or Walmart is Dove Dry Shampoo. And this, this is full size and this is $4. So or five, I don't know. But either way, um, I'm probably gonna stick with my Dove, but I will definitely try this out. I'm sure it's great. I just don't think I'd ever pay $44 for it. <laughs> you know, would you, I don't know. So now I'm gonna insert a clip of me using this dry shampoo on my oily hair, and we'll see how it does, and if I like it better than the Dove dry shampoo. Okay, verdict, it's very natural looking. I felt like I had to use a lot of it. Like, I think I used half of the can that was given. Um, so, I think it's nowhere near worth $44 because I use my Dove one all the time and it definitely gets the job done for me. And I think it looks good and it definitely makes it look less oily faster than this one does. I felt like I had to really work with this to make it look like what I wanted it to, and even then it didn't give a lot of volume. It was really nice to get a sample of it, but I'm definitely not gonna pay $44 for a full size. So that's all that we got in our box. I don't think this is gonna fit in the goodie, but hold on. <gasps> it fits. Okay, um, so that's all we got in our birch box this month. This is what the box looked like. Mmm, mmm, aesthetic? Not really. I don't know what's really October-y about this box, but uh, mm, we could have made it a little more Halloween-y, you know? 
they could have jazzed it up a bit, but the good thing about these boxes is that you can just cover up the birch box thing and use it as a regifting thing for Christmas and or birthdays. There you go, just put like a DVD in here, put some, you know, other things that fit in a box. Happy birthday! But I have to say, I am happy with all of the products that I received. I was really nervous that I was just going to get a bunch of things that I didn't want and or wouldn't use. But I would legitimately use everything I got in that little goodie bag up there. I could do without two different mascaras. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like. I think I will continue to order Birchbox, so I may be doing one of these every month. Look forward to that if you like Birchbox unboxings, and if you don't, hey, you don't have to click on the video. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you guys can join me on the journey to finding out. See you next time. Oh. Do you hear that? Oh my god. So every month you get a little thing that has like things on it. I don't know. <laughs> That was a terrible explanation. Of course, this prescriptive... Oh, oh. oh no, be careful, Jessica. Oh no, don't spill the oil all over the bathroom floor, please.